Hi everybody. So just a, a couple things before I tell you about one of my <clears throat> fun dating experiences. Um, my friend Aaron, who has challenged me to doing <clears throat> my diet two months, no cheating, no cheat days, none of that, straight, hardcore, stick your diet for two months. Um, so that started yesterday, and it will end on March 7th. If I complete this challenge, my reward is that Aaron will teach me how to edit and give me some good pointers, because she's very creative. She's made a lot of videos including some short films, a feature-length film, I think it's called Esposito. <clears throat> so it's a good incentive for me to complete this challenge because she is very gifted. My punishment, if I don't complete it, um, is <clears throat> kind of marathoning Nicholas Sparks movies because I hate those kind of movies. And also, I, clearly I don't own any of Nicholas Sparks material which means I'll also have to buy them, so that's spending money and wasting a day watching crappy movies. <clears throat> so, another incentive for me to complete this challenge. The other uh, challenge I mentioned last week was the Libra Friends Sing Along. Some of you have already um, completed this task, and it's been really fun to watch the videos. Um, I think Zoe was the first one to kind of kick off the challenge. Uh, Blondie's The Tide Is High. What a great song to start this with. And uh, Ryan and Emma and Molly, I saw your videos. Again, great, very entertaining. I'm still working on <laughs> night fever because <clears throat> my voice does not go that high. So I'm having to rework it a little bit to make it fit my skill set a little more. So let's get into a, a, a horrible date that I went on. <clears throat> now... To give you a frame of reference of how long ago this was, um, I met this guy uh, through MySpace. He seemed like a really nice guy. Um, he was overweight, but I mean, at the I am too, so it's not like I'm judging anybody on that. But he was really, um, I guess, uh, insecure about it. But he kind of got me with, um, he, he was really in love with the movie uh, Princess Bride, which I... I think most girls love that movie. Um, but, you know, <clears throat> we had a whole conversation and As You Wish and all that stuff. It seemed very sweet. So I agreed to go out with him. And I decided that we should go to um, a bookstore. Because then if we ran out of stuff to talk about, there's topics all over the place. And, you know, it's kind of a way to get to know each other and what your interests are. There's a little coffee shop and all that stuff. So I meet him, we go to the bookstore, and I, I took him to the New Age section, because I that section is fascinating to me. You know, they have astrology and tarot cards and spirit stuff. It's just really interesting to me. So, you know, show him that. It's, I think we're in that section for all of five minutes before he says, you know, not all books have to have pictures. And I'm like, did he just imply that I'm illiterate? <laughs> Strike one, buddy. So then he takes me to his section, which is like um, survival guides and something about karate or some form of... He practiced some form of martial arts I'm not familiar with. I want to say capoeira, capo, whatever. Basically, it's like this dance fighting thing where your instructor like sings fight commands in Portuguese or something. <sighs> it was already not going well. He's implying that I'm illiterate. And, anyway, I was not feeling it, but figure, you know, it's a first date, maybe he's nervous. So we go get some coffee, and I decide, I get in front of him in line to make sure that I pay for my own coffee, because I don't want to owe him anything. So we go outside, and we're, we're <clears throat> just talking, and he starts singing at the top of his lungs, in Portuguese, I guess fight commands. I don't speak Portuguese. And I was like, what does that mean? And he looked at me like, how could you not know what that means? I'm like, I'm not fluent in Portuguese, and I don't practice that weird form of martial arts. But I guess what you're trying to say is, how can you be so stupid to not know what that means? I'm like, so I'm illiterate and stupid. Strike two. <laughs> you're not doing so well on this, buddy. And I tend to, I like lower cut tops. 
because, you know, the girls can sometimes distract from the tummy. You can't see it, but I was patting my tummy. And it's also kind of a fun little test for me because I, I expect guys to, you know, check them out. But my little test is I want to see just how slick you can be. If I catch you, you're not that slick. He was not that slick. I'm like, mm. <laughs> I'm like I was trying to give you like an extra, like a extra credit. Like maybe you're nervous still. But I'm I'm st I'm starting to understand now that time has passed. I'm like he was so insecure about himself that he needed to find ways to insult me or put me down to drag me down to where he felt he was. Well, that doesn't work on me. That might work on some people, but that does not work on me. Um, if, if you're trying to insult, flirt with me, I don't, I don't get the flirt part. I just hear the insult and I'm out. So, you know, the, I was ready to go. <clears throat> so it's like, I'm going to, it's, it's late. It's time to go home. He's like, well, let's go back to your place. I'm like, <laughs> like, what date were you on that you think you're coming back to my place? Crazy. I was like, well, and I had just gotten sassy. She was still kind of a puppy. I'm like, you know, and she still to this day does not like men. She loses her mind and just barks and attacks. She's just protective of me like that. And it's an apartment. I have neighbors. I'm like, I don't want my dog going bonkers for an hour and pissing off my neighbors. So, like, you know, it's not a good idea. My dog doesn't like men. I don't want her getting upset. It's kind of late. And he's like, you know, you should rename your dog Chassie for Chastity Belt. I'm like, okay. A, it's our first date. B, it's going horrible. C, you weren't getting any anyway, buddy. I, I don't know where you're getting this from. But I'm still trying to be nice. I'm like, I get it. You know, I'm overweight too. I understand that that insecure feeling. So I'm really trying to be nice. And I, I said no. I'm like, I, I just got to go home. And, you know, later that night he called me when he got home. And I was like, listen, you're a really nice guy. But I'm just, you know, I'm not feeling it. I'm like, so I think maybe we should just be friends. He's like, oh, you're, you're just like, a, you're so superficial and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay. I was really trying to be nice, but I'm going to be super honest with you right now. It has nothing to do with what you look like. I'm like, so the next time a girl tells you that she's not into you, I want you to think that it's not because you're overweight. It's because you're an asshole, okay? Personality counts. And yours sucks. So I'm just going to lay it out on the line for you. It's not your body. It's not your face. It's not what you look like. It's it's you. It's you. You're a jerk. Like, so don't push me. If I'm trying to be nice to you, let it go. But no, he wanted to insult me, and I believe he even called me a, a superficial bitch, I think is what he said. Like, what's on now? Let's, let's let all the chips fall where they may. And that was the last time I talked to him. And that is one reason why I'm okay not having a date for Valentine's Day this year. So, the, ooh, I think this might be my longest video yet. I hope you guys stay tuned for the whole thing and weren't super bored. Um, but I will talk to you next week and tell you another fun dating adventure. Bye. Oop. I still I can't hit that damn button. All right. And I got my camera upside down so you can see my finger hit the button. Ready? <laughs>